Hello, this is what's intended to be a short introduction to Rapid Game. Rapid Game is a command line tool for Mac and Windows that pre-builds all of Cocos 2DX and the Cocos 2DJS libraries uh, for Mac, iOS, Android, and Windows for multiple different architectures and configurations. And basically what it does is it saves you a ton of time. If you're a developer of games that uses Cocos 2DX, this will save you a lot of time. And it'll also save you a lot of hard drive space. Um, so here's the problem. With Cocos 2DX, it's an excellent open source game engine. However, whenever you go to build Cocos 2DX, you're looking at like, let's see, it's around like 900 different files that you have to build to just to build the engine. Um, and I'm building the tests right here, which is actually a little bit more than all the files that you needed to create. But we're looking at at least 400, 500, up to 900 different files. And here's, here's the issue. You've built all these files and everything, and then let's say we're all, we're all done with that and we can run these tests or whatever. If I even go and change from the iOS simulator to my actual device and run again, it's gonna to have to rebuild everything again. All of the same files, because it's a different architecture. And see, this one's 900 for sure, because it's got three different um, architectures that have to, has to build ARM v7, ARM64, and um, the other one too, ARM whatever. Um, so, and then uh, once again, if you wanna change from this to, uh, to Mac, and do the Mac builds, you gotta rebuild everything again. So, not only is it taking up a ton of hard drive space for all that, um, but uh, also like if you were to go and create a project with the Cocos command, you can go Cocos, well, you know, create a game, and it'll create a game in whatever folder you want, and that's great, but it copies all of the source files for Cocos 2DX into that folder, and then you have to go and rebuild it all again for that game, and then if, once again, if you change the architecture for that, so you're looking at um, tons and tons and tons of building Cocos 2DX. And also, every time you, you create a game with the Cocos tool, you've got at least 500 megs on your hard drive just to, just to put the files for Cocos 2DX together. And then secondly, if you, once you've built it, all the Xcode derived data that you've got um, is gonna be at least another gigabyte per architecture, you know, of, of, of object files and libraries and everything. So to solve all those problems and to save you a ton of time, um, I created what's called Rapid Game. And Rapid Game is a, um, a node-based cross-platform tool that you can use to basically compile all of Coco Studio X for you. So I've got everything set up so I can do a little example and show you all about Rapid Game. So um, the first command you wanna do when you're installing Rapid Game is, uh, well, first you gotta make sure you've got Git and you've got Node. And if you don't have Git and Node, there's simple instructions on how to get that. Um, just by going to Node's website, they've got an installer, super easy to install Node on Windows, Mac, or you know if you wanna compile it for Linux, you can do that too. And then Git, most systems already have Git, but if you don't have Git for Windows, for example, you can go and get that. And um, so once you've got those two things, it's as easy as this command right here. sudo npm install rapid game dash g. The dash g makes it, makes it global. And if, you've, if you're not familiar with Node, Node is a, um, is a JavaScript based awesome tool. So you can, you can run it um, to do a whole bunch of different commands um, via JavaScript. So when I install rapid game globally, it downloads the uh, dependent packages there and downloads Rapid Game and sets it all up for me. And what that did there is it put it in um, my user local uh, live node modules Rapid Game. It installed Rapid Game for me. It's all done. Everything's ready to go for that. And I've already got this command um, right here where I can just go Rapid Game. So that's how easy it is to install it. Now um, let's go create a. Um, a game. So not only is Rapid Game a pre-building tool um, for Coco Studio X, but it's also a templating tool. So you can use it to create games really fast. So uh, if I want to create a game, um, you go Rapid Game Create, and then you choose your platform. It actually works with uh, 
several other platforms too. Let me show you the actual usage. Um, oh, it doesn't actually show the platforms on here. Oh yeah, it does right here. You've got Coco CD, Corona, Titanium, and Unity as well. So it can create um, template projects for even for Unity. So you can use this for uh, many different um, game engines, but primarily it's for Coco CD X because you have to rebuild so much stuff. Um, so here's a good example of how to how to use the commands. Wrap a game, create the the name of um, your engine you want to use, the name of your project, and then your uh, what do you call it? Your ID or whatever. So I'm going to go rapid game, create Cocos 2D. I'm going to call my game um, awesomeness com dot wizard foo dot awesomeness or whatever that would be for your game. So I'm going to run that and it's already created the game for me and copy all the template files onto my desktop and everything right where I, where I ran that command and it um, see here's the folder that it created for me it's a nice um, super neat little folder everything is uh, it's very lightweight too look how look how small this is 2.6 megabytes that's ready to go because it sim links a live folder to all of rapid games pre-built libraries so um, that's why it can be very lightweight. You don't have to use a lot of hard drive space and you can compile all of your Coco Studio X in one place. So it, it created that project for me, but it has to pre-build the libraries before it can, you can actually run the project. I can open this project right now and that's going to be in projects, awesomeness.xcode project, or for different platforms, you've got other things like there's the HTML platform as well. Um, so you can run it in your web browser and it even comes with the server. So you just run your, your server, run, open up your, uh, your, um, your web browser, but I'm going to focus on the actual, um, Xcode project right here, but you also got windows and Mac. So if you're following, if you can follow along these instructions on windows as well, and it works and there are plans to add Linux as well. So there's the server files. Here's some assets for the game, including the JavaScript. Um, so I'm going to open up awesomeness.xcode project and just show you it's also just a very simple lightweight project. So it's not going to run quite right now because the libraries aren't pre-built. What the command is doing right here is it automatically created the project files for me and now it's downloading Coco Studio X. And um, I'm actually going to stop it here because I've already got everything downloaded and pre-built and everything. But if you were to let this run, this would download Coco Studio X for you, unpack it, patch it, rebuild it for, or actually build it um, up a nice uh, headers file. It copies all the header files into a nice location for you and then pre-builds Coco Studio X for multiple architectures. So I'm going to stop it right there and then go to, um, I'll show you where it installs uh, the actual uh, files for Rapid Games. So on Mac, it puts it in um, your user's library developer folder and that cre it creates a rapid game folder for you so I'm going to open up rapid game and show you what oh that that's sorry um I'm going to first I'm going to actually copy over um I'm going to remove this rapid game folder that I just built there or was starting to download and build right there and then I'm going to move my actual already pre-built folder in place so we can save a lot of time on this video so I'm going to open up Rapid Game now and show you what it looks like, what it builds for you. So um, it basically, uh, <clears throat> the first thing it does is it, it creates this source folder, downloads Coco Studio JS, and then it's also got a proj.android and a proj.ios Mac so it can pre-build all of Coco Studio X. But that's not what I want to show you. The actual, uh, the way it stores all the pre-built libraries is in, first it puts the version of Rapid Game, then it puts Coco Studio. Then it puts the HTML, so if you've got your um, Coco Studio HTML5 right here, and then X, Coco Studio X is put into its own folder as well, which it has all the include files it needs, all the Java files, and all the script files it uses, and then live is the thing that it actually goes and builds. So if you were to let it run, it goes and pre-builds um, pre all of Coco Studio X libraries, and then archives them all into one single .a file. So I've got so for example, here on debug iOS, I've got Lab Coco Studio X pre-built for iPhone OS, 
which is what you would install on a device, and iPhone Simulator, which is what you'd use on the simulator, which are different architectures. And then also you've got Debug Mac, Debug Android for multiple different Android um, architectures. You've got Release Android, Release iOS, and Release Mac. So once all that's built, you never have to build it again. Um, and that's that's what saves you so much time. So let's go look at actually now that we've got this folder um, Reset there we can actually open up off the awesomeness project and run it and watch how fast this builds It only has to compile four files There it's done. That's how fast it is rather than waiting five minutes for Coco to build every time you can easily run your project super fast and so it even comes with this nice little um, two-scene project. One scene here is the menu scene um, with the game, the title of your game. So if this was, if you, if I had named my game something else, it would have a different title right here. And so I could play. It's a very simple little game here with, uh, um, with music, sound effects, physics, and everything. And then look, if I want to go and create, uh, let's say I want to go and run the Mac project super fast as well. Only compiles three three files because everything's already pre-built. It can just link those libraries and boom, run as fast as it possibly can. So um, here's the game running on Mac. Same exact thing, but just different architecture. Um, but you're using the same code base. So um, Rapid Game Projects work with both Coco Studi JS and Coco Studi X because it compiles all of Coco Studi X and it compiles the JavaScript binding, so you can use either Coco Studi X or Coco Studi JS in your projects. And I'll show you an example of that where I am actually developing my new game, um, Songbringer. I'm developing it in Coco Studi X purely, um, but it uses Rapid Game. So if I were, um, I'll, I'll go to the folder for that. So songbringer um, the way rapid game works is it can also it basically just creates a lib folder so if I wanted to upgrade to the latest version 0 to 9.3 I can go like this this is so easy I just I just remove the lib folder that was existing and then I go rapid game init dot and it sim links a new lib lib folder for me so now that I've got a so see how it links to um, that where where rapid game is built so library developer rapid game 0 0.9.3 um, and I've noticed that when you uh, when you upgrade your your version of Coco Studi X or rapid game you want to reload your actual Xcode project because then it re-indexes everything so now I've, I'm using this new version of Coco Studi X that's how easy it was to upgrade I can go and um, just run it so this is the, it running it. I haven't tested this, so let's see. Let's make sure this works. Um, oh, there's one thing. It doesn't have set uniform float array. That's a that's a thing I checked into um, the Coco Studi X project. Hopefully, they approve that and add it to the next release. But let's see. I'm gonna comment that out, and we should be able to um, just run the game. So, but uh, here's how how Rapid Game actually works. Um, You've got that live folder, so it, it sim links to the header files and also all the libraries. But in the actual project, I'll show you how it works. Okay, so great. We're working here. This is fine. The problem with it being too dark is that I just had to comment out that those float arrays, which were the lights for my shader. So, but anyways, um, here's how you can actually set up your own Coco Studi X project. And there are instructions for this on the... Um, on the node page and also on the github page uh, but it's it's this easy in your um, it's it sets it up with uh, um, your build settings if you search for paths you got library search paths and also user, user header search paths so in your library search paths it does this it takes your source root for your project goes dot dot live so see, it's relying on that live folder to even load all of the the um, archived Cobos 2D files, um, and then also here in, in your header paths, you've got um, this is how you would set it up. You'd have to do a lot of you know copy a lot of these folders and whatever, but um, basically 
you can set up your project this way to rely on that live folder. So you can you can link to dot dot slash live slash cocos 2d slash x slash include and that will contain all of those include folders because we've already seen that um, that's how rapid game works it basically puts all of your your header files as well into that live folder so all you got to do is sim link or is set up your projects to you to rely on this live folder and then you're you're good to go with rapid game all you got to do is uh, whenever you want to upgrade rapid game you would go um, sudo npm upgrade, I think it's upgrade, rapid game. Yeah. Oh, maybe it's not upgrade, maybe it's update. Yeah, it's update. So that's it. That's how um, you can create your own projects uh, without having to rebuild your Coco StudioX libraries all the time. Another thing about Coco StudioX is they release a lot of great updates. They're, they're updating like once a month. So if you're keeping up to date with Coco StudioX, you're having to update it all the time. So this is how easy it is to do your projects with uh, Coco StudioX and pre-build them. So that's the purpose of Rapid Game. Uh, thanks for watching this video, and that's it. I hope it helped you.